Hey guys, Darcy here again today and I want to go over exporting in Luna. It's a ridiculously simple thing, but there's a lot of flexibility in what you can do and I don't want you to overlook it because it can save you a lot of time later. Anyways, let's jump into it. So in this is a project for an actual client I have. I can't play it, but you can see that the routing is set up here. We have our one bass track going into a bass bus. We have our drums going into a drum bus, then a parallel drum bus that goes into the main, um, or sorry, into the instrument track. Then we have a whole bunch of other instruments, some of them going into um, buses. So the brass and the brasses, the trumps and trumpets, and the trumpets one guitar go straight into the instrument. And then um, from here, we also have a bunch of vocals that go into vocals. And then we also have some effects, right? Uh, and all that goes into the main. And Luna has a handy feature of hitting the spill button here. So we can see how a lot of stuff is routed into the instrument tracks, into the vocals tracks, and so forth, right? Um, and so when we want to export, right, the way that I tend to do it is I make sure I have in this workflow option up here, the very top where my mouse is, there'll be toggle record, uh, MIDI workflow, edit workflow, and the mix workflow. Um, make sure the mix one is on, otherwise it'll be minimized like that. And you can see a mix down button, right? Um, you click that mix down button, and on the right hand side, we get this whole tray that pops out. By default, it's going to always try to output your main file to an exported files folder. But if we go up to this very, actually, sorry, before we go up there, we'll see also our file types. When you're exporting your stems, you want to make sure you're exporting 24-bit um, wave file or some kind of uncompressed file if you prefer a different one, and whatever sample rate that you want. 44.1 is your standard. Um, make sure you're just not outputting a bunch of MP3s, basically what, is what I'm getting at. So you go up to the top and you hit main, and now you have a lot of options. You can see right here I have them all minified or minimized um, so we have tracks where we can look at all the individual tracks themselves and we can export those if that's what you so desire right maybe you're sending out to somebody else to be mixed when i'm done a mix for a client i like to export my stems because as much as it might be nice to have all the individual tracks what's most important if the client say for instance gets uh, the project landed with a movie or a television they want to do a different mix of it or say a commercial uh, is the not the track sorry minimize that bring out the buses so you can see all these buses i was talking about earlier so we have our bass and our, our trumpets and our parallels and all that kind of stuff by default it's just easier to click the all for all the buses including all of the effects um and then the person can kind of sort through what they want to sort through so this is still a lot of tracks it'd be even more if i had the individual tracks themselves but if i want to i could you know uh uncheck all the buses and go down here and, and specifically go so i want oops i'm gonna do my uh let's see here my instrument track my bass track my bus track and where's the vocals right there the vocals track right i could just export those four right if that's what somebody had asked for and they're going to add some other effects on it so that's just like a, a simple way of setting that up and we also have our main our main is our basically our stereo out and or our some bus for some people and so when we export that, we'll see that we have all these tracks set up and we can say export over the ones we already have if we have already done it or replace all or keep all and it'll rename them. Um, the benefit I like about this is that it doesn't take, at least that I've noticed, any longer to export all of excuse me, all of these buses than it does to just export the main by itself. So when you're done, say, a mix for a client, you're giving them the mix down file, and you know you're at the last version, you might as well just export all those stems at the same time or as many files as you want because it takes about the same amount of time, and now you have all these backups just in case. So this is something I find super beneficial. It's a small thing, but it's a very important thing. So hopefully this is something you start to do because even if you're working on your own songs and mixing them and mastering them yourself you should still do this in case your computer you know your software breaks plugins disappear whatever the case may be you would have these wave files ready to go and it's not going to take you any more time than if you were to just export your main uh sub mix uh, anyways so hopefully you find this helpful uh if you like it you know like comment subscribe all that stuff and let me know what else you would like to you like for me to go over for you anyways peace y'all Thank you.